Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as that there German Reich. So, uh, obviously, as you have seen right now, I have just released Serbia, and they will have a great time being underneath us, being, you know, one of our subjects. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, I, here's a question for you guys. Um, I There's Wes Benat here. Benat. Would you like to see this continue to be stayed with or be a part of Serbia? Would you like to see it become a part of Hungary to make them even stronger? Or would you like them to be become a this province to become a province of Romania? Please leave your comments below. If there is no comment about this, I will keep it with the Serbs. And one moment as Mocha is trying to leave my room. Alright, that was nice and cool. ourselves against the Soviets as they abandon their line. Our goal is to get, uh, basically, get all of Sweden under control, and maybe go to war with, oh, Norway or something like that. <clears throat> and one thing to recognize here is that, remember that little treaty we signed before, the Tripart Act? Well, I can call in the Japanese, if needed, into the war against the Soviet Union, and you know what, they will accept, but I'm not going to do that right now. Mostly because, well... They're busy killing the British Raj, so we're going to let them do that first. Definitely let them do that first. And i got to keep a reminder, or an eye, on... Let's see, what time it is. <clears throat> so that I don't go over the time once again. Cool, let you guys do well. Uh, let the infantry just go, just go crazy here. You guys, you're just kind of like the reserve army in Europe, just in case something may happen. And I am now pushing hard, well, I guess not really that hard, into African-held, or French-held Africa. Just because there's a lot of soldiers here, and they can't really get that many supplies. And that's glorious. Yeah, these guys will eventually starve out, though, so. Even though we're not doing super well right now, that's okay. We just befriended Turkey, which is good. The next thing we want to do is expand dockyards. I need more dockyards. Ooh, so if you play no shot down, very good. Siam joins the Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. Very good. Very good. And let's see, we've got a couple upgrades here. It looks look like we got a couple uh, things over here we could repair. Technically, I'm doing this once again. I already played this a little bit before, but we had a little bit of a <clears throat> accident. I could, I guess you could say, with someone spilling stuff. But whatever. Um, yeah, battleship armor. Let's make that a extremely good class. People want to join wars? Fine with me. Fine, 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 fine with me. <clears throat> and I am going to choose to make all of this stuff go to Schleswig-Holstein because this, this fleet we have now, our main fleet, it isn't too bad. It isn't great, but I really need to start forming a good patrol fleet for when we do invade the Americas. I'm going to keep these two, though, on high seas fleet, just because they are already been, been or already in the <clears throat> current build. I don't know. Whereas Faust, I'd, this one's fine. Just do one of those, and then we'll probably eventually have to replace it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cool. Uh, it's good. Good. Uh, let's upgrade whatever we have. We only have 35 naval XP, so that isn't great, but that's okay. Save that. Which makes this kind of already outdated, which will need more repairs and upgrades. Upgrades, not repairs. Uh, let's give this class maybe something better. This is a battle cruiser, I think. No, this is a regular cruiser. What is this? Panzer Shift B is a Panzer Cruiser, huh? Huh. Hmm, if it's a Panzer Cruiser, it's a heavy cruiser that we already are using. So maybe we can actually upgrade it to be, become a little better. Yeah. Secondary batteries, aircraft, that'd be fine. Uh, torpedo launchers, eh, it's a heavy cruiser. It's a battery ship. Uh. Guns attack. Uh, let's just remove that. Just remove everything for right now. Is there anything it can add? That has to be anti-air. This has to be 
I guess torpedo launchers. There's just no batteries, though. There's only this battery. God dang it. Oh, and actually, you know what? Let's get that. That'll be good enough. Cruiser engine 2. Uh, and... Oh, I can't even say that. Whatever. I'm just kind of exploring as we're waiting for more victories on the Eastern Front. 7, good. Send the Marines when you can. Oh. You know what? Never mind. They already did a great job. <clears throat> good job, Marines. Good job. Alright, so you'll actually... Let's go from here to... Eventually, we will want to get over this area. What if we attack Stockholm? That sounds like a good idea to me. We're killing a lot of subs. That's great. And we're not going. Uh, you guys... I think I gave you orders. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. And we'll put them under Carl Egelseer. That's good. Well, wow, we're actually doing a lot better than I thought we were. Um, I didn't rec realize that we did have an encirclement already. This is going better than the time I did it before, before someone else had an accident. Wow, Romania, you're doing... What the heck is going on? You're doing better than the first time I did this. Wow. Um, okay then. Well, we got a couple more dockyards. Let's put some convoys down here. Uh, heavy ships are good. Heavy ships are always delightful to have. Just, heavy ships are just the pride of your fleet. They really are. And this has got so many cannons. I really want sub... Submarines. I do want subs. But, these subs are okay. I don't want to make any until we get at least 1940s subs. Let's see, we're making destroyers. One destroyer, one cruiser. Lots of, lots of destroyers. Jesus, I need to switch some of these over to light cruisers. Just do another heavy ship. That'll be good. Go ahead and put that one onto first fist as well. First Faust. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's over here because I mistakenly put that over here. Take that off. This is got tier. That'll be good. All right, everything's doing doing okay. We're doing okay here, guys. Enemy sub sunk, sunk, sunk. And March fourteenth, we will have that good and done. Everything else looks okay. We're doing well. We're doing all right. Not bad, not bad. I just gotta remember to keep an eye on the time. And we are moving out. That's good. I wonder now. Actually, still got a couple divisions here. The Philippines have capitulated because of the Japanese. So that's great. Have you guys attack colonists from several different sides? Uh, let's get someone who has more organization. There you go. Some more coastal divisions. There you go. And how's Africa looking? Well, we're desperately trying to kill them off in here. Oh, we got some Mexicans in North Africa. Huh. All right then. Casualties? Not bad, actually. Better than this is going better than the first time I recorded this. What the heck? I mean, I I, I eventually did stop my attacks here. I mean, this is a little ridiculous. We have another encirclement here. A small tank division, but it's still a tank division regardless. Uh, does anyone have upgrades? No, let's check out. Water model. Enrici, you, you, you. Oh, yes, you do. Thank you. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I definitely want Sweden gone. Can I justify on Norway? So we might as well. Yeah, it only takes 25 days. That's fine with me. <clears throat> very good. Very, very good. How, how close is Sweden to capitulating? They're very close. 49,000 men lost. We're doing a great job against the Soviets. What in the world is going on? You're not fighting the Japanese. Seriously, this is a little bit too easy. I mean, we are starting to stall out, which is fine with me. We don't have to win super hard gung-ho right now. I mean, it is March. We do got a couple green bubbles here, but... Doesn't mean they're doing super great. We will have to reorganize our front line eventually, though. Go ahead and send you up here to the Upper Baltic, too. Also, we do have, let's see, a couple extra ships. I'm going to add these three over to here and combine these guys together. Just because this doesn't even have a light cruiser, now we've added another one on. Hmm. I mean, this is basically the best thing that we got, so... Just keep doing that. Schleswig-Holstein. I will convert some of these ships, though, however, to subs. To make more subs and whatnot. We got... How many things are we making? Okay, good. I thought we had more naval dockyards. And for this... Uh, we got over one political power day. Let's use it. 
Oh, how about this? SS leadership. Well, Serbian Empire. Let's do... Let's make sure that Croatia really likes us. And you know what? The country that's closest to us right now... Let's do the Netherlands. Recruitment campaign in the Netherlands. I've never done this before, actually. In this titanic struggle of national survival, we must use every asset and every advantage. The SS believes that there are many in the Netherlands who would gladly pick up arms and fight by our side against the threat of global Bolshevism. While the Wehrmacht agrees in principle that some recruitment uh, some recruitment of suitable volunteers could be useful, the generals in the OKW very strongly believe that any foreign volunteer should be under military, not SS command. Uh, let's see. Protest. Nothing happens. Funny. Massive recruitment. 50% armored SS Panzer Division Niederland. And Anton Musert will appear without equipment but full manpower strength. Allow them to recruit a small number of specialists and support personnel. Well, to keep things balanced, and since the first two options both have a 50-50 chance of something happening, uh, I want a massive recruitment campaign then. Holy f bad word. Very much out of strength, but we have a 20 width SS Panzer Division. Honestly, that's really cool. Uh, this template isn't very good, though. So, ooh, what happened up here? Oh, we're bombing stuff up there. Cool. Um, you know what? I'm going to put you over here. Let me see. S? Oh, we can only view... We can't... Oh, I wanted to edit this. Oh, we can't... It's locked? Oh, man. Dude, I want to, like, edit it so I can actually use it. What is this? SS Motor Zierta Division. Well, that's okay. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to edit them. What is this, N-A? What is N-A? Reinforcements. Oh, we're still sending stuff to the Free American Empire, or also known as the Confederated States of America. And generals protest. So, in a meeting with Adolf Hitler today, a number of high-ranking Wehrmacht officers and the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht have voiced their concerns about what they've termed political favoritism on the behalf of the SS. In particular, they are watching the development of the parallel armed forces in the Waffen SS with deep worry. The lavishly equipped SS divisions, their argument continues, only take away desperately needed resources from regular military. Well, something tells me, besides tanks, we're pretty much okay. Finally, independent recruitment could lead to separate command structures, leading to a separation of efforts when all forces, or all force, needs to be bundled to achieve final victory. Uh, I will... Tell them that the OKW has ultimate command. For right now, I will let the SS divisions just kind of rest up. And let's see, we should have Hassel von Manteuffel, Reinhardt, Kruger, Hoth, Van Kleist, Jodl, Paulus. Were we. we uh, I think that was the other option. Oh, we have. Oh. Politically connected, huh? <clears throat> you know what? We're going to give them command just because we can. Who do I want to put in? I thought we could get a Anton Mussert, but I guess not. Let's put him under Von Manteuffel, and you'll be under Himmler. This sounds like a terrible idea, but uh, it sounds like a fun idea, so let's do it. Let's see, right now, negative 20 for the mood, and the OKW is worried. I'd be worried, too. You know what? They probably have some sort of uh, civil war happen when we're trying to fight in the United States. Oh! Oh, so this is just the SS Division Anton Musert. I thought we would actually get Anton Musert. Oh, okay, that's actually really cool then. So you're both 20 width. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, you have 10,000 manpower each. I didn't have to spend any manpower, which is pretty good. Um, SS Panzer Division, that's really, that's actually really cool. Uh, oh, crap. Forgot about something here. Oh, we already made it, and the next factories have already gone down. We need more chromium. Holy cow. And we have two more marine divisions. I think that's probably all the marines we really need at the moment. So, thank you for your time. Do we need to edit this anymore? Ah, uh, yes, but not yet. I have not researched what I want to add on there. I want to try, because the German AI does this naturally. God dang it, we're done with the marines. But the AI... Okay, there goes Sweden. That the AI does this naturally. Now, the, especially the German AI, adds in support anti-air division companies. Which we're going to try out. And actually, you know what? Here on... Let's just go ahead and stop this. Just stop attacking for now. I know you could be doing very well, but we probably need to reorganize our line and make sure everything's a little... Going a little more smoothly. And you know what, Himmler? I'm going to use you. I'm going to immediately put you on a position here. 
or not. Just come here. There you go. Cool. Sweden is gone, which means you can actually, you know what, just take everyone here. Spread out around here. And I will probably liberate Sweden eventually. Or just have one Scandinavian country. Marines. Well, actually, you are already garrisoning, or you are available. Let's do this. Why not? Christiansen. And then we'll go to Oslo. And then for these Marines as well, we might as well just go to here or something. Something fun. Something not too difficult. Awesome. Very cool. And actually, you don't even need this area, so just... Oops. Oopsie. Come down there, too. That'll be great. Thank you very much. Uh, we can go to war very, very, very soon. Very, very soon. These are the six divisions I'm looking for. You guys, come here. Your goal is to get all the way over to Bergen as soon as possible. Just go ahead when you can. Just, you know, prepare about what... You know, you know what to do. Yeah. Let's see, now it looks like the Soviets are trying to attack us back. But that's okay. Ah, oh, good. The Spanish are trying to move up. Cover any holes we have there. Questions motive of Norway. Uh, I wish I could make Reichskommissariat Sweden, but that obviously wasn't very historical. Permit SS recruitment in Sweden. I really want to do that, though. So last time we did the Netherlands, we want to do Belgium, uh, Nordfrankreich. I kind of really want to do that. I'm, I'm, it's almost like a dizzy, drug. I, I want to do that. I, I want to do that. But I will do that soon enough. Cool. You guys, you guys are all doing all right. Holding out, having a good time in North Africa. As, or at least the best time you can have. Wow, you were trying to get some a lot of skills done, huh? Mm, oh, we, we should actually probably build this area up. Just because infrastructure, of course, in this area kind of sucks. Get a couple more supplies. Um, Looks like we could use more fuel, which is good. Some more fuel. Brandenburg, thank you very much. Radar is... A little lacking in certain areas, which is fine. We, we can always build that up. Do that area, and then over here, over th oh, nice. Right, so we can go to war with the people over there, the Norwegians. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll put one there, because why not? And that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Up. Just because we want information when we go to war with Norway. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. I need more research slots, though. That's what I really want and need. Just so many capital ships are going to be made here. Great. Oh, we actually have a, my third pits here. I don't remember adding you here. Um. Yeah, I don't remember that being added. Uh, you know what? Just take the turpits and add one of you. Come over here. And just go ahead and combine. Link up with them, and that would be great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Greatness awaits. Oh, oh, we need to invade this area. Tell you guys to invade when you can. Ooh, convoy sunk. Three more convoys sunk. We need to invade that area as well. You guys, you are pretty much all the way over here. Give them a little bit more time to heal up and whatnot. Everyone's pretty much ready to go. Wow. I'm completely ignoring the front, which is kind of okay, but kind of not. What does this look like? You're still trying to get over there. God, I wish I could edit these SS divisions. I'm kind of surprised I cannot. But, nevertheless, whatever. Things happen. How many... When's the next day we get stuff done? Basic snorkel? Destroyers? And support, maintenance company. That's good. At least that's good. 1942, guys. It's 1942. Let's get some better guns, and then the next thing we research will be better ships of some sort. Alright, let's go ahead and go to war with the Norwegians. How is our plane supply? Oh my goodness. And, of course, they join the Allies. No biggie. Wow, we got not a lot of heavy fighters. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy you over here. And then, anything else? Naval Bombers is really good. Like, ridiculously good. Actually, I'm going to put you over here when I can. And you go ahead and do bomb the hell out of the Baltic F Sea. There you go. Hopefully you'll be okay. 
Anything going on? Did we lose something? Oh, we sunk an American sub. Very nice. And we're making some convoys. We got a crap ton of heavy ships coming online. We'll get one more heavy ship. That'll be good. And you just go to Schleswig-Holstein. We got a lot of extra destroyers there. Oh, nice. The Marines actually invaded. Just kind of hold on for now. Uh, something tells me we'll, we'll probably be okay. Probably be okay with everything here. Oh, we're trying to bomb stuff here, too. Let's see. You guys. No, you guys are doing alright. Go crazy. Battleship fleet concentration. Very awesome. Naval stuff. Cruiser holes. Subs. Subs have to be next. I want to make some good, very good sub marines. And go right ahead. Tanks, you're doing a great job. We're getting supply here because of the marines. Can one v can you one v one them? Well, at least you have a commander there. Ooh. Nah, nothing happened there. All right, so be it. Soviet Union is literally going crazy right now. I mean, obviously we can't push very hard. I really wanted to use my tanks here, but obviously that's not going to happen anytime soon. Do we need any infrastructure around in some of these areas? Probably. Oops. There you go. Put up some infrastructure, a lot of good stuff, you know. That they're the like of. We have met up with the Marines. And Norway should capitulate soon. Good. Good. Mm, quite a few casualties, but not nearly as bad as the... Wow. Wow. We've inflicted a lot of casualties compared to the number of casualties we've taken from them. Almost a million casualties while we've suffered 306,000 from them. And this mostly with infantry divisions with only infantry battalions. Now, we do have some infantry divisions with artillery on them, but whatever. Alright, so... Now, if I go with U-Boat Effort, I get two dockyards and bonuses to submarine tech. But... And we can produce them faster. I do want to get crossing the Atlantic. And I... For the following, this must be true. All the following must be true. Is at war with the Soviet Union, which we are at, but the Soviets have to capitulate, does not exist, or is the subject of another country. Huh. And I kind of like Plan Z, because it gives you two dockyards, but battleship cruiser models, battleship, and super heavy battleship, and carrier models, which sounds good to me. I, I'm going to need some carriers when we invade the United States. Alright, let's go ahead and make another cruiser group. And let's pick Holstein next. That'll be good. And let's convert... Ah, uh, it's cruiser. Ah, uh, you're almost done here. Convert you to cruisers as well. Cool. Very good. And do we have any other upgrades? Oh, you're November 10th, 1942. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sunk two Norwegian subs. Six more Norwegian subs, followed by a Norwegian convoy. And the Norwegians are almost gone. And I will form the Reichskommissariat Norwegen once we're done here. Take you. Go ahead and just keep moving in, guys. They're almost gone. Let's see. Denmark, Norway. Pretty good. Execute case Anton. Uh, what do we need? Original country is free. France, subject of German Reich. Does not control any French states in North Africa, huh? And there goes Norwegian. Let's go ahead and institute... Oh, uh, where is it? Reichskommissariat Norwegen. Norwegen. I kind of wanted to release Scandinavia as a whole country, but whatever. This will also work. No matter how laggy it might be. Alright, and the fascist supporters start a civil war. There we go. Reichskommissariat Norwegen. Very delightful. No one's invaded us, so I feel okay doing this. I'm sorry, Finland, but this is for your own good. And you know what? With the tanks, we actually might be able to use tanks effectively here, or... Hmm. Well, it looks like the allies came in through here. That's not good. <clears throat> How close is Turkey to being... Oh, they're not close at all to being fascist, but I have a non-aggression pact with them. God dang it. I want to cancel that, but we can't do that before 1943. And they are becoming more and more fascist. So much political power. That's not much. What if I made them 
fa more fascists every day. That'll probably be okay. Uh, just send the tanks to... Hmm. Send them down here in the front. That'll be fine. Yeah, infrastructure isn't great, but whatever. We'll see if we can be... We can use them successfully or not down here. Oh, some American convoys. That's not good. We will do want to take out Portugal eventually anyways. How are you guys doing? Do you have enough... You should have enough planes here. Heavy fighters. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Who was that? That's you. How many planes you got? You got two divisions. They are getting bombed. Uh, if you guys can, be careful about how your movements. Oh, yep, that looks not bad. Really not bad. You guys just get down here. Just so that all these soldiers are surrounded, and we can push to Cairo. And a maintenance company's done. Great. Better artillery? Sure. And then we'll do more, even more naval stuff. Uh, early sub hole. Great, great, great. What did we just research? Was it snorkels or something? Uh, let's see, for you guys, can't do anything yet. We need better torpedoes. We can't do anything about that yet either. Hmm. So be it. So be it. Who's leading Reich's Commissary at Norwegen? Josef Turboven. Alright. Why we fight? Deterrence. So be it. Uh, you guys are next. I am only doing this because you're, it looks like, gradually becoming more and more communist every day. Okay, maybe that was a lie, but that's going that's going to be my basis of justification for war with you guys. Uh, yeah. When you guys go, can go, go ahead. Uh, 14 divisions? Sure. Sure, Spain? Sure. Franco, you're just going to be on the coastal divisions. Congratulations. And I, I will help guard your coast, though. Hope you're happy. Awesome. And you know what? We could probably actually put them in Norway as well. That would probably be a good thing to do. And I need to use my marines, actually. Hmm. Everything's going, actually, very well. Uh, do some suppre- Oh. Yeah, do some suppression as well if you can. Another sub. Great. Let's grab our marines. And I'm going to actually use them for what? Hmm. I could invade Norway. There we go. That's an idea. Stockholm. Helsinki. Marines, 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 Stockholm, go to Ireland. I want you two actually to go somewhere else. You two, take this area out. Great. So we got a plan, and the Soviets are attacking us like crazy. I haven't even called the Japanese in here yet. My goodness, this is actually not good. I need better logistic companies. I don't even have logistic companies on these guys. What am I doing? Yeah, screw screw the next naval stuff. I need log logistic companies on these guys. Uh, what is this? November still. It's fine. Yeah, very cool. Very good. We definitely need aluminum and chromium, though. Oh, Elk von Manstein, you are an infantry expert? That's what I thought. The Dutch East Indies are gone, and actually, right now, you can stop doing that as much as well as that one. Oh, you guys have something to do? Naval bombers? Sure. Naval bombers? Sure. Sounds good to me. Finnish sovereignty. Very good. Oh, we sunk... Is that an Australian or New Zealand? 1936 cruiser hull. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Logistic companies are a must. Can't believe I can't... Can't believe I haven't done that one yet. Go ahead and... Put him out of their misery. Yeah, that's a lot of divisions that got encircled. Wow. Let's go straight to Cairo. Uh, come on, guys. Straight to Cairo. Everyone else can do the rest of this stuff. And we will end this episode very soon. We only get 0.32 uh, political power a day. That is fine with me. The Turks are now... 50% fascist as we are preparing a second coup in the United States with the Silver Legion of America 37% of the way towards fascism. I love it. And it looks like the Confederated States of America have lost their battle in New England. Of all places, it's New England. Oh, they want... Oh. Niederlanda wants to help me out. Oh, we got another tank division. Great. Uh, let's put you on the coast. It really does other stuff as well. That's okay. Put you guys over here. You are suffering from attrition. 
Yeah, I can't believe I didn't do this already. Just go ahead and start attacking. Hopefully you can attack. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should... You know, I'm going to move these guys. That was a dumb idea to move them over here. Um, screw it. Just come back up here. I should not have moved these guys at all. But what's done is done, and I you know, can't take away the past. All you can do is learn from it. I need those logistic companies. I can't believe I didn't do that. Now I'm probably not going to use anti-air in those divisions. Oh, we have Lithuania under control. That's pretty good. Uh, we probably don't need that there. Put him over here. Upper Baltic Sea. I want you to... Patrol. Here. And I want you to be on medium risk. Advanced computer machine. Very good. Get some more encryption, decryption, and... Not bad. Not bad at all. How's this looking? Go ahead and increase this. And, yeah. Just go ahead and... Let's redo this. Get all the way to Syria if you can. If we can get Turkey in the Axis... I think that'd be pretty great. Pretty darn great. And my god, we could really use some more naval XP. Any good ships yet? Only like cruisers, destroyers, so be it. The best fleet in the world is here. Locating a task force in the Upper Baltic Sea. Good job so far, guys. You're doing a great, great job. Even though you're not really doing very much. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you are engaging an enemy. I want to see the battle. Let me see the battle. I guess you can't really see it, but you know, whatever. You only see the aftermath, probably. Awesome. And... Two, oh, wait. Two more divisions. Two regular 20-width divisions. Huh. Well, you're going there. We really don't need that many more divisions. And... Pretty good. You know what? Are my tanks up here yet? No, but they're actually very close. Give them just a few more days, and then we'll put them. Move, we'll move them up. Oh, we are getting pushed back a little bit here. That is not good. You know what? That's okay. A little bit of a tug and tussle with the Soviet Union is okay. Yeah, we'll lose a couple guys to them, but I'm not trying to move up very hard. And honestly, that means the Soviets are losing a ton of manpower and equipment. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Good. Just make sure they don't expose any hole here or anything like that. I would really love to see what their equipment levels are like. But when we take out Finland, this will definitely open up a whole nother front. Yeah, that's going to be a while still. Anything else? Oh, we do have better destroyers. God dang it, I should have recognized that. Uh, light Engine 3. Torpedo 2s are still fine. Sonar 2s are fine. Good, 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 good. Uh, Anti-Sub 3. And then... Rapid Fire Guns, probably. Nice, they're very fast. Look at that. Dang. Oh, right, let's go ahead. We'll pet them on, because we can. Actually, we probably don't need to do that. We're just going to convert whatever we have already. Eh, destroyer halfway down, but I don't really care. we got so many destroyers, it doesn't even matter. Let's see. That's good. That's good. Awesome. So, let's end the episode here as we select a next tech. All right, then. Well, with that in mind, guys, we took out Sweden. We're going to go to war with the Finns. And uh, have a good time overall. Have a very good time over all the next episode as we do what is needed. Yeah. Well, with that in mind, guys, I'm not going to ask for likes today. Um, yeah, I ask for likes and subscribe every single day, but we'll wait and do that tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I appreciate it.